these people are not saying they are um, lawless fellows and that kind of thing. If anything, right, Honorable Speaker, government acknowledges their presence there. For those that have had business structures and so on, government has been collecting taxes from these people regularly. So government needs to help us understand why operate in this way. But finally, uh, 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 right, no. When you talk about but double standards and selective implementation, I wouldn't mind the issue of the poli police station. But there are places where malls, malls ah, and you know this is the what? A wetland. There are malls. You get it, eh? Uh, right, Robert Speaker, not just malls, but factories and so on and so forth. So they are saying, why is it that what's good for the goose is not good for the gander? So the selective application of the law is problematic. Right, Robert Speaker, I, I would like government to help us understand when shall we have a comprehensive plan to organize Kampala and beyond? Because when we do this touch a bit here, touch a bit here, and that kind of thing, Honorable Speaker, there are structures that keep coming up, including now in the city. They don't plan for drainage. That's why when it rains, the city floods, including outside Parliament here. Uh, why? Uh, because uh, 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 of the disorganized. There's thing. information for you. Huh? Infrastructure. Ah. Uh -uh. <laughs> infrastructure. I'll take the information. Yes. Why is our road always flooded on the. On, 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 Logogo. Right Honorable right, Speaker and members, <laughs> I think the Red right, Honorable is alluding to the report about the construction that was happening in Logogo on top of the trench. By the it says the report was ready, and I think now that we're resuming, any time from now, if the speaker gives it space. It will be read. We are going to give it to sp give it a space, and we discuss that report because right. we cannot build on the trench, build on <clears throat> on wetlands, and a lead of opposition as the head of Kosase. I would want you to ask your chairperson of Kosase to have an interaction with the NEMA and find out what criteria do they use. Thank you, Right Honorable, and I want to appreciate the colleague for that information and for the work they did as a committee. We look forward to having these engagements. Actually, Right Honorable Speaker, I took the initiative to reach out to the Executive Director of NEMA. And I said, now, let's engage as leaders. One, have you reached out to these people to engage them? And I encouraged him and his team to do so. If anything, I said that should have been the first course of action. First, engage these people. Share your concerns with them. Let them share their concerns with you. And that has not happened. But yes, I will follow up also with Kosase. The final issue, right, Honorable Speaker, alluding to your communication, is about um, the arrest of our colleagues. We are glad that some steps are now being taken in the fight against graft and corruption. That's a welcome move. Our hope is that this shall be broadened and not just narrowed to a few. However, Right Honorable Speaker, to date, it's been five days since uh, the Honorable Paul Akamba, Busiki County MP, was re-arrested after a court in this country had granted him bail. Re-arrested not by police, because yesterday the spokesperson of Uganda Police Force said he does not know his whereabouts. Last evening, I saw one of the lawyers saying they have spoken to him but they did not say exactly where he is. It, it bothers me. Honorable Paul Akamba belongs to the NRM. I lead this side. But you see, it should concern me when the rule of law continues to be eroded because everybody will suffer. So it bothers me, even if it's an NRM member. Yes. Because I, I, I we think, are all affected. I think we shall discuss that when he presents the report. Eh? We'll discuss that. But as far as I know... <coughs> One thing I insisted to, to police is that if you want to arrest my member, give the summons to me. Because, because originally, 
they would want to pick people anyhow. I said, give me the summons. And as I speak, and I, I have also said, when you bring the summons, we want, not on hearsay, that Joel should be the list of 30, those kind of things. No. Tell me why exactly you want this person. And the I, summons, I, I have the summons. And as I speak now, Honorable Akamba is at CID headquarters answering charges on allegations on another case. But what we can do, let's wait and get a report on from the minister. I, I totally appreciate you, right, Honorable Speaker. Uh, just finally, we want to encourage government because the law defines what an arrest is. So if they have another matter to do with the member, the law is very clear on what an arrest is, who carries out an arrest, because these are plain clothed men wielding guns, put him in a car. The same thing we've always complained about some of our supporters. They are kidnapped, put in drones, and some people took it for granted. It is real. It's now happening to a member of parliament. It is wrong. Government, can we follow the law? Because the law is clear what an arrest is. Who does conduct an arrest? When you conduct an arrest, the family and lawyers of this person must know where you've taken them. But if you take them to God knows where, and nobody can follow up, let's stop eroding the rule of law in our Thank country. You. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next. Item next. three. Procedure. Designation of members to sectoral committees. Proceed. In accordance with Rule 187 and 188 of the Rules of Procedure. Honorable Members, Rule 1871 of the Rules of Procedure requires the whips at the start of the parliamentary session to designate members of the sectoral committees on the basis of party, organizational representatives, and the interest of independent members of parliament. We shall receive now a designation of members. We'll start with the, um, the government. We'll read all the committees. They are all sectoral committees. Read all committees. Read your members that you're designating. And, um, and then we move to another party, independence. And the army. I hope the army is also ready. Government. Uh, government. Right, Honorable Speaker and Honorable Colleagues. Pass one to Rule 1510C, Rule 187, and Rule 188 of the Rules of Procedure of Parliament. I beg to propose the designation of the following honorable members to the leadership and membership of the following sectoral committees for the fourth session of the 11th Parliament of the Republic of Uganda. Committee on Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, Honorable Auma Linda Agnes, Chairperson, Honorable Hope Grania Nakaziwe, Deputy Chairperson, Members, Honorable Rugumayo Edson, Honorable Muhumuza David, Honorable Christine Akelo, Honorable Isamat Abraham, Honorable Biraro Ibrahim, Honorable Achen Dokas, Honorable Komol Joseph Midi, Honorable Lematia John, Honorable Lochap Peter Ken, Honorable Stephen Kasaija Kagwera, Honorable Robert Migade, Honorable Loki John Baptist, Honorable Eseno Anthony, Honorable Dwaru Jennifer, Honorable Anwa Ricky Richard, Honorable Nyongore Enoch.